Hello and welcome again to another episode of Battle Ready. And, t- and today, yeah. and today we're going to talk about Sundered Fate, including a Sundered Fate unboxing, sort of. We forgot we did it. So we did. Video. We just finished recording a Sundered Fate unboxing, but we actually forgot to press record on the camera. So all you see before you is the result of that. Um, but we'll go through it again. It's yeah. not a problem. First things first, though. At least though, it's not about report. Yeah, that's right. We couldn't for, do it. First things first, on Sundered Fate, um, I bought this with my own money. This is $1. not a sponsored copy. I'm not chilling for anybody. These are my honest thoughts, our honest thoughts on what, what to think. So Poster. first, let's talk about the sprues. So there's some things that will be the same as Heart of Gerd. For example... The Scattered Terrain, Heart of Gerd gave me two of these sprues with all the Scattered Terrain on it, so you have doubles of everything. But with this one, you only get one. But it's the same sprue, so you'll get one set of all of that same Scattered Terrain, which is yeah. good. The terrain's good. Yeah. Um, you get one, let's see, I'll put these to the side. You get one of the Gnarl Oaks that's on the big spine. Yeah. Uh, same as from Heart of Gerd, so this yeah. is a Heart of Gerd tree. And then you get Part of trigger. one that's on a big um, big skull, which I believe is also the yeah, same from Heart of Gur. So uh, that one, that one's the same. So you'll get those three that are all the same. Now, in addition to those three, you get two new ones. One is a new. Uh, oh, maybe it's maybe these are both the same thing. Yeah, I think they're the same thing. Yeah, I think you got two. That's on two sprues, but it's like a little. Eggshell hideout thing. It's a big rock you guys can hide in. And uh, so you get that. So you have two trees from Heart of Gur, plus a scatter terrain from Heart of Gur. So you can double up if you're interested in, in that stuff. And then one new thing. You also get the two Army. Armies. Well, Warbands. War, and Warbands. So we've got the Hunters of Huanchi. Huanchi. Which are the skinks, and you can see little Huanchi. wings of their wingling guys. Wingling, 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 wingling. And then, <laughs> very nice. And then you've got the Jade Obelisk, which are the Zinchian guys. And yeah. uh, so it'll be interesting to see how those guys go together and, and what can, which ways we can build them. Now, the rest of the stuff, first, you get your, your standard War Cry poster. Nah. Which is very cool. Very cool. You get a bunch of bases for everything. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll put stuff back as we uh, back <laughs> yeah. in the box for this video. Yeah. Right? Back in, it, this is a reboxing. Right. <laughs> That's what it is. Exactly. It's a reboxing. <laughs> New title of the video. <laughs> um, War Cry Sundered Fate reboxing. There it is. That's what we're titling the video. So you get the two cards for the new war, war bands. New reactions. Both of the reactions are sort of cool. So the Jade Obelisk, those are the Zinchi guys, they Zinch. can turn part of their body into. Uh, jade, yeah, which is like a hard rock, and uh, that subtracts one from the damage that they take. Which so is kinda cool. instead of getting hit on hit and taking twos fours or whatever, now they're ones threes. Wouldn't be good against a pickaxe though. Just mine it. Okay, and then <laughs> I mean realistically, the hunters of Huanchi after they take damage, they can, they can run away. They can use their reaction to run, which to do cool. a disengage, which is cool because that's going to make it hard for a. A fighter to come up and do fight fight on them, right? Yeah. Or if they move and fight, then the hunter, after he takes the damage, can move away, and then on his turn for his second action, he can still do whatever, yeah. right? So different stuff, cool stuff. Um, all right. You also get your instruction booklet, how to put everything together. Yeah. You get your stealth and stone book, which is sort of like the battle tomes for these two guys. Yeah. It has some lore. It has some. Uh, painting stuff, and it has the rules for your hollow refuge, I guess is what it's called. It's yeah. this thing here. And the rule is sort of cool. It's this that thing. you can take cover. If you're on it, if you're on the hollow refuge, you can just um, do a take cover reaction without spending one of your actions. You don't have to take the reaction. You just get the benefit of always having taken cover. So that's sort of cool. You got your gnarl oaks. Oh, actually, this is not a look. Look, it's these gnarl oaks have. Uh, oh, they're different. Well, no, I think they're the same. This one for sure is the same, but yeah. they've got the they look like they've added tarps to them. So a little bit, a little bit different, yeah. a little bit different, sort of. Cool. It's not the same. And then you've got your rope bridges, and of course you've got your narrative and campaign stuff in here. Narrative so that's sort of cool. That's sort of cool. Um, neat. Yeah. 
Then cards. All right, you got your fighter cards for the Jade Obelisk, right? You got mm -hmm. fighter cards for the Hunters of Huan Chi. And then you've got some of these things. But what's yeah. interesting is you also get cards with terrain. Now, some of this terrain, some of these terrain cards absolutely use stuff from Heart of Gur. Yeah. Right? It uses both. And then some of them just use the new stuff. And in fact, look, they've got little markers. See, that one uses new stuff and Heart of Gur. And this one is just new stuff. So you'll be able to sort them out and show which, you know, if you want to only use the new stuff, you can just use those. But otherwise, these should be relatively simple to shuffle in and just add them to your terrain cards. Um, then we've got about eight new victory cards, all of which are pretty cool. Oh, yeah, those are twists. Victory cards. Those are twists, too. Oh, I just had an extra twist in there. <laughs> uh, victory cards. They yeah, look pretty good. Look pretty good. And then same thing with the twists, seven or eight of those as well. Looks like seven of those and some um, deployment cards. Deployment. So you have all, the, all of those things. Now, those same cards are in the back here, same way they were in the core rule book. So you have that. So the question, I guess, becomes... You want this? This, this is the same worker as the, uh, the Rotmeyer crude. Nope. Is it not? Mm-mm. Oh, right, the Rock Man Creator Skull with the three slashes. So the, the, skull with the, X. the question becomes, uh, who is this? Who should be buying this? Who, who wants this? Um, I think if you're interested in both Warbands yep. and the terrain, particularly if you have Heart of Gur, this is great. Yes. Right? You're going to get everything you want. You get new terrain. You get new Warbands. You're going to get it at a little bit of a discount because even though this stuff will come out l later separately, it'll be more expensive to buy it all. Um, especially if you want to buy the, the yeah. campaign book. Um, so I think that's the person, if you're interested, grab it. If, whether you have Heart of Gur or not, Grabbed. good job. Yeah. If you have Heart of Gur or not, if you only want one of the war bands or you don't really care for more terrain or something like that, where you don't want everything in the box, then uh, maybe wait. Yeah. Right? It'll, I mean, it'll come out. Yeah, it'll come out. Just like the Rottmeyer Creed came out when this box arrived. Probably when the new box arrives, I forget what it's called, Blood, Blood Hunt, Bloody Hunt, something like that. Bloodbound Hunters. Yeah. Um, but when that box comes out, I'm sure right around that same time, these warbands will come out as well. So if you, wanna, if you don't want everything, save the money, buy the things you're interested in. But I think the most interesting question is, all right, what if you want to start Warcry? Is this a good starting box? Maybe you like Jade Obelisk and Hunters of Huanchi more than you like Horns of Hashut and Rottmeyer Creed. Is this a good starting box? And the answer is, it's a second best starting box. Because so what's, what's missing? What's missing is dice. No, no dice, but most of us have a lot of dice. And it's not like six-siders are hard to get. Rulers, not that. Again, if you're already playing Age of Sigmar or whatever. You probably and you can get real cheap tape measures. Yeah. Dice. Oh, no, dice. <laughs> I already said that. Um, tokens. Tokens. That's one that's going to be a little bit trickier. trickier. Because now the tokens you don't, aren't required, right? You can keep all that same information tracked on a piece of paper. Or here. Um, or oh, that would be hard. But yes, you could keep it memorized. So they're not, they're not a must-have. They're, they're a nice to have, but they're sort of a really nice yeah. to have. They really make things Real easier. Nice. So you need to either keep track with a pen and paper, or maybe you make your own tokens. But as, particularly, like objective markers and things like that, you can come up with stuff. But the ones that are really Paper. the most helpful are the tokens that show you which fighters have been activated, and then on the other side, which fighters are waiting or have used a reaction. Those are really good. Those are really, really helpful when you're playing the game. So, you need those. The other thing that's missing, mm. core rules. Yeah. This book does not have the core rules in it. So, if all you have is this box, you don't know how to play the game. Yeah. Now, one, you could buy the core rules. It's like 50 bucks. I mean, it's expensive. But it, um, you know, it has lore. It has art. It has lore. Lore. It has lore. <laughs> it has um, painting stuff in it. And then it has all the core rules. So, you can yeah. do that. But if you just want the core rules section that tells you how to play the game. This is how you play, and the, this is how you Those play. are freely available online. 
and from Games Workshop, not like you have to bit torrent it or something. They're freely available. Not get to what torrent it? Yeah, it's a, it's a way to steal things online. Uh, so don't worry about it. The uh, so the core rules are there. So you don't need the core rules. So what do you need if you want to pick this up? Rules, you can yep. get them for free, or you can buy the book. You need tokens. That's going to be the hard one. And then you need dice and measuring. We all have that essentially. So the tokens is good. Is the one thing that's hard. Is it not? Is it impossible? No. 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 If you want to start Warcry, Heart of Gur is just better. Yeah. It's just the better entry point. This would be like playing the expansion to a game without having the original game. Almost, because you can get most of the pieces. Yeah. You just can't get all the pieces. But I'm just saying it's like that. Yeah, for sure. That's it's in likeness. So if you can find Heart of Gur now, Heart of Gur I don't think is available on the Games Workshop website. Yeah. But you might be able to find it online through a third party seller or a friendly local game store. There's there's ways you might be able to get it. And if you can get it, that's that's really the best way in to Warcry. Mm -hmm. However, if it's not available, you don't have it, you can't get it, it's not gonna be there for you. This is a second best option, and it's yeah. it's not bad. The tokens, I mean, making your own tokens or writing it down, that's going to make it a little bit more of a pain. Coming up with your own dice and measuring sticks, that's not too bad. Uh, but this will give you terrain it, then, and enough terrain for many of these cards. It'll give you both warbands. It gives you all the rules for those warbands. I think if, if you are gung-ho on Warcry, you gung really want to play. Exactly. You really want to play, but you just can't find Heart of Gur. This is not a bad option. But whether you have Heart of Gear or not, like I said, if, you don't, if you're not interested in things, if there's anything in here you don't like, you just don't want to play skinks. You just don't need any more meat trees. <laughs> then wait and buy the stuff separately. Mm -hmm. right? Wait and buy the stuff separately. So totally fine. Um, final thoughts? Why did you say friendly game? Uh, so online, unfriendly. the local game stores, they all call them friendly local game stores, but there are some unfriendly ones. And uh, you don't need. They're run by orcs. <laughs> Sometimes, but Wait, really? uh, yeah, you don't need to. You don't need to uh, spend your money at an unfriendly one. But if you have a game shop that you can support, or you have one that's um, not you know, run by has orcs, has Heart of Gur, that's that is an option. And it would be better if it wasn't run by orcs. It would be. Because they. Any would... other final thoughts? No, that was all I needed to know. That's all. That's one hundred percent. Why? Hopefully, this helped you decide whether whether or not to. Look into Sundered Fate. For me, I wanted both warbands. I uh -huh. love the Zinch, the look of the Zinch ones. I'm very excited stinks. to have a non-chaos warband. Stinky stinks. I guess it's not the first because the Shadow Stonkers are the first. Stonkers? Yeah. Stalkers. Shadow Stonkers are the first. <laughs> so, uh, but these should be really, really fun to uh, put the together first and play. They are the first in the Gnarlwood. That's yeah. for sure. So, uh, yeah. If you're interested, go for it. And uh, this has been another episode of Battle Ready. Ready. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Yeah.